Hey guys, Galeforce here with an update of sorts. Before I start though, I apologize if my voice sounds like crap. Guess who's been dealing with a sinus infection for the past week? Yeah, not fun. Anyway, there are a couple of things I wanted to talk about in this video. Stuff I felt that would be good for my viewers to know. First is what kind of update schedule to expect from me. When I first got back into making commentaries, I churned out commentaries rather quickly. I don't count my first two because my first, I feel, was average to mediocre, and the second was... Let's not mince words here. It was crap. Not counting those, I averaged one commentary every week and a half, give or take. I have friends in the commentary community to thank for that. I was not expecting to upload as many commentaries as I did in that time frame, and it's because I got so much material thanks to my friends. Really, the only commentary I made in that time frame that involved material I found without anyone's help or watching a different commentary on that material wasn't even a solo commentary. That would be the co-op I did with Zerorick a while back. A link to that video will be in the description for those who haven't seen it yet. After those commentaries, I found the pool of material got rather dry to the point where I was getting frustrated. Like, was it beginner's luck that I found that co-op material? Thankfully, I found material later on, which, funny enough, also became a co-op commentary, but hey. Let it be known here that I do have another commentary planned, one that I expect will remain a solo commentary, but that one isn't set in stone and I kind of want to wait until the sinus infection goes away before I do any serious work on that. So I have no idea if and when that next commentary will be uploaded. Despite my quick upload schedule in the past few months, do not expect quick uploads from me. Really, I only expect to upload maybe one commentary a month. Maybe even two commentaries a month if I get lucky finds with material. I don't know how co-ops will fall into the mix because who knows whose channel those will be uploaded on and who finds what material, you know what I mean? Second is requests. I am always open for requests, so if you have videos that you want to send me because you think those videos could make for good commentary material, feel free to send those links in comments or PMs. There is no guarantee that I'll make a commentary on that video or those videos you send me, but you never know until you try, right? Finally, there are channels I wish to plug here. First is the commentary channel Blazin' Rants. Blazin is a fellow commentator, a female commentator who's new to the commentary game. I've seen all the commentaries she has on her channel, and she gets better every time. Even her first commentary, while it had its flaws, was well worth the watch, especially for someone's first commentary. If you haven't checked out Blazin' Rants yet, I highly recommend you check out that channel and maybe even subscribe, because those commentaries are amazing. Second is another commentary channel, Son of Ifrit. My most recent commentary was a co-op made with Son of Ifrit, and believe me when I say this, if I did not think he was a good commentator, I would not have made the offer to make the commentary into a co-op with him. He actually made commentaries for a while in 2011 and 2012, but stopped in early 2013 and just got back into making commentaries a couple of months ago. If you haven't checked out his channel yet, Give it a look, watch his recent commentaries, and even his older commentaries if you're curious about his older material, and subscribe to him as well. He's well worth the watch. The final channel I want to plug actually isn't a commentary channel. It's a Let's Play channel that I feel deserves way more subscribers than it actually has at the moment. Yes, I like watching the occasional Let's Play, and for those of you who like watching Let's Plays, this guy is worth a subscription in my opinion. The Let's Player in question goes by the name of Captain Bugman, and he has an interesting mix of games that he's Let's Played. Example of games he's Let's Played include Star Wars Battlefront 2, Bioshock, Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem, Psychonauts, Sleeping Dogs, Deponia, and the most recent game he started is Luigi's Mansion. So yeah, eclectic mix there. There were a couple times in the past where his upload schedule slipped, but that was due to real-life issues that really weren't any real fault of his. Other than those slips, he tried his damnedest to keep a frequent and consistent upload schedule, and even when his schedule slips, his Let's Plays are worth the wait. So for those of you watching who are into Let's Plays, check out a bit of Captain Bugman's LPs, and maybe even subscribe to him because I think it's a real shame that a Let's Player like him doesn't have more subscribers than he has right now, especially given how he's been uploading Let's Plays for over a year now. So with all that said, that concludes this little update and plugging session of mine. This is Gale Force saying thank you all for watching and have a nice day on the internet, everybody.